So I'm sure everybody's well aware of what's going on in the world right now, and it's a, it's a very scary time. It's particularly scary to myself because I grew up with asthma. And it's hard to believe that a kid who serves big waves and free dies for his food has lung disease, but it's the truth. So I decided to take social distancing to the next step. I packed the car, we grabbed the pups, and we headed out into the wilderness where we wouldn't see another soul for weeks. Let's go ahead and get right on with the adventure. You ready, Shiro? Let's go! Let's go! Right when I was getting comfortable, Mother Nature loves to show who's in charge. Well, they say the weather out here is just unpredictable and uh, unforgiving. Not even 30 minutes ago, it was cloudy, but nothing like this. And now it's pouring snow, snows all over the ground. and. I'll be having to do my best to stay warm tonight. So the fish are biting tomorrow. I think I've earned it. The next morning, I woke up to bluebird conditions and snowy mountains. I walked down to the creek to get some crisp cool water. The sound of the rushing creek just music to my ears. I got breakfast started and before I knew it, it was time to go find some fish. So this is one of my favorite fishing holes out here. It really doesn't look like much, but we don't really care about the appearance. All we care about is what is below the water and if they're biting or not. So let's get our lines rigged up, let's get fishing. So right now what I'm looking at is there is a, almost like a sandbar right there and it drops into this deep ledge. So I'm casting my streamer out to that sandbar and then letting it drop at the edge of the ledge. Once it gets close to the bottom, I'm bringing it in really nice and slow, small little increments right on the bottom. Kind of mimic a bug. Just missed it. Oh! <sighs> Big strike right there. Big strike right there. Yeah, there's definitely fish boiling out here now. Looks like they're starting to get a little more active with the sun. Um, at night, this place gets really cold and they're not really biting as much in the morning. Mouthed it a little bit. Not a full strike right there, just checking it out. So they're biting right here, and there's some good sized fish. A little bit too shallow over there. Let's turn over here and drop them low. I mean, 
catfish. You can see it right here, right up close. The fly was going like this. That trout was just right behind it, eyeing it, and kind of mouthing the tail end of it. But not enough for a full strike, and he got close to the bank and turned off back to the deep. There we go, we're on, we're on. That's what we're waiting for. Come on, buddy, come on. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Woo! That's dinner right there, boys. Right on that nice little black streamer hooked right in the corner of that lip. Perfect. Now that's what I'm talking about, his little guy. Very aggressive, you can see. He's definitely got a couple little scraps over here. Beautiful little fish, and uh, that's dinner right there for tonight. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Unfortunately today, we're not gonna be cooking over the campfire like originally planned, but things happen, plans change, and so do the recipes. So today we'll be working on a trout almondine with a savory lemon brown butter sauce. Really simple to make and exquisite to taste. Why wait, let's get right to cooking. Our ingredients today are going to be our filet trout, but you can keep them whole if you'd like egg wash, lemons, crushed almonds, radishes, ours are Cincinnati market radishes straight from our garden, butter, green beans, olive oil, salt, and pepper. We're going to start off with the green beans. First, put olive oil in a hot piping pan. Next, add the green beans. Roll up your sleeves. I guess we're gonna take that trout and run it through the egg wash. Just make sure to get both sides nice and coated. Move it onto your plate. sit until it gets piping hot. Once your pan is nice and hot, take your fish and lay it skin side down. Now, depending on the size of the fish, it shouldn't take too long. Being that we had a smaller fish and that we did fillet it, this is gonna be really, really quickly. So make sure to pay attention to your fish while it's cooking. Check your fish. Flip it over once it's ready. You wanna see that nice golden color on the bottom, especially with those almonds. Once your beans have turned this nice color between fried brown and still green, we're going to take them off and put them on a plate. Grab the plate. Get your 
channel. What you want to see is this beautiful color in both your beans and your trout. Take your butter and simply melt it down. Now what you're looking for is for your sauce. Start turning nice and brown. Just that drizzle of And now to plate. We're going to take our radishes, lay it across the bottom, our beans. Two, depends on how generous you're feeling, and then top it all off. Add the sauce. And there you have it a trout almondine with a lemon brown butter sauce. like a good meal to end one adventure and start the next. Till next time, I'll catch you later. Shoo! You want some of those?